mobilization and empowerment and uplifting our people. It is not overtaxing the people that will rescue this government. If now you are overtaxing the people, the same same people are going to die in their business. Where are you going to get taxes? It is like you are simply communicating to us that Kenya is completely sinking and you are pressing it hard to, to, to sink. Thank you. We relation. I'm Kennedy Franklin on the issue of inflation I want again to advise our MPs that we resort and we adopt the consent of austerity this means that the government can cap unnecessary costs and expenses it is not a matter of increasing taxes that the government is going to meet its obligation. And again, today we are seeing the churches back trying to correct the messes in this country. But it is quite ridiculous. It is quite shocking that the same church was today with yesterday with Ruto. Our churches, you need to stand in the midst of saving this nation and standing with the truth. Not that when things have fallen apart is when you are running to rescue that the Catholic bishop, that the Anglican bishops, that the Lego bishops. I want to tell the church, God is also watching you and God is waiting you with a judgment if you sell our innocent country and you send this country to the whole. You are there backing this government. If you are in the Holy Spirit, you ought to have seen the bad spirit that this government carried. And I want again to urge each and every necessary authority, be it Kenya human rights, be it the national rights for the people, each and every organization that is held accountable in fighting for the rights of the people. This is the right that you have to come out and stand strong to fight for your people. I also want to say that even students who are affected by the, 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 this government, even the nurses, even the, this is the time that each and every person who is affected negatively by this rotten regime, by this fiasco regime, by this regime, this is the time that we should come out and say no to this burdening government. I always say that we should not sell our birthright to a wrong government. In the name of waiting and expecting and believing and trusting that all shall be well. It is a matter of all shall be well until when. The when here is time. A positive government that has got good motives with the people will make positive changes within a short span of life. We saw and experienced the regime of Kibaki. Kibaki just entered and within a short period, we saw the necessary changes that he made towards re rectifying the messes that Moy had created in economy. But this one of Ruto, it is a matter of wait, things will be okay. Wait, things will be okay. Yet, back in the executive, they are busy increasing their salaries and busy overtaxing the poor Kenyans. They have even forgotten the industrialization. When they are talking about creation of employment, they ought to have embarked on an industrialization and empowerment and uplifting our people. It is not overtaxing the people that will rescue this government. If now you are overtaxing the people, the same same people are going to die in their business. Where are you going to get taxes? It is like you are simply communicating to us that Kenya is completely sinking and you are pressing it hard to, to, to sink. Thank you. We I want again to address on certain issues that uh, is affecting the country currently. And I want to loud uh, Minister, that is uh, Kindiki, for having again come back to the public to declare that the proposed taxes on uh, necessary documents like IDs, we call them Uduma services, the proposed taxes, they put a hold on on them. But I'm afraid, I'm very much afraid and sending a stand warning to this government that you it's like you are ready to put us in temptation when somebody is ready with a panga and then the, the person has held the panga strong ready to cut you 
and then the person comes back to convince you that now he is not ready to cut you. You can be so sure that person is going to come back. And therefore, we want to tell this government that let's not play with the people. We know your, your intention. This is one of the governments ever since independence that has proved to be so much mendacious. But I want again to loud this government and to advise this government on this issue of overtaxation. You better practice the concept of atrocity, the concept of, of, uh, of, of uh, the parliament whereby if something is wrong, let it be taken back to the, the parliament for uh, amendment. We, let, let us withdraw certain taxation that aims at overburdening the people. And how do we do this? It is not a matter of running government purely on increment of taxes each and every now and again as we see in the increment in uh, the, the, the prices or rather the inflation. Simply the government can, uh, can reduce the expenses that are not necessary. Like we have been seeing this government on trips daily in, daily out. Anything that is not necessary and is not adding value to the citizen, the government should not do that. Like if you ask the fruits that the government is uh, bearing by unnecessary to us, there's nothing like it, it is helping us with. So I tell this government that the hope that the Kenyans had in you has been completely abused. The situation in this country has been onerous in the sense that people are feeling overburdened. And this is a deeper And there is nobody who can uh, contradict this statement. And it is true that life has become extremely burdensome to the people. If you promised uh, uh, the citizens, and especially the youths, jobs, we have not seen those jobs. Now you are back threatening the investors, the other day we saw people are like appearing and disappearing. The other time we saw with the case of uh, Rai. The other day we saw Anne and Joroge. But these are our local investors. If now you are talking about employment and you are back creating threat to the local investors, now we ask, when are you going to create employment if you are busy uh, bringing threats? To, to the local investors. I want to tell this government, especially our MPs, that it is a high time that you wake up and stand strong and speak your rights, speak your voice and fight for the rights of the people. It is not a matter of you being in the parliament for the sake of it waiting for the next general election as you have started campaigning. I want to challenge you that one of your biggest role is to represent a people. You cannot cheat us that you are representing a people that is hungry, a people that is not healthy, a people that is jobless, a people that cannot afford a meal. Therefore, you have terribly failed us. The MPs, I want you to understand your role. Your role should not be practicing and uh, celebrating the majority wing that you are the majority. Yes, you might be the majority, but what is it that you are doing that is positively impacting the lives of Kenyans? An MP should be somebody who stands strong with the people when things are not right in the nation. An MP is somebody who should always be bothered about sponsoring bills in the parliament, bills, bills that seek to address the issues that directly or indirectly affect the people that voted them. But you have been a dismay. You have been a failure. And I want to warn this government that if you go the same way, you are going to fail terribly. And we want you to fail because you promised us heaven, but you are delivering hell. If you fail, this is going to provide us a, a better lesson to Kenyans that when they are given an opportunity to practice their democratic rights in the ballot, Kenyans are going to stand out and exercise their rights in a manner that they will not come back to regret again. Thank you.
very good.